Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell. Get all the updates. Uh, really excited for today's beers, cur courtesy of my sister Molly and her boyfriend Frank. So thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate it. Um, they're younger than me, so they're really hip and and know what you know. They're on the pulse of. Uh, uh, pop culture and they said this beer is blowing up the internet so um uh, i was just excited because it's a coffee stout i like coffee stout but you know me i'm all about the hype so um this is uh the reason why it's like i, I think getting some attention is it's a beer brewed in collaboration with wawa the convenience store and gas station chain so um it's called winter reserve coffee stout it's six percent abv and the brewery is actually called uh 2sp and they're out of uh, pennsylvania uh, waiting is wasting. Drink fresh. It's about a month, and just over a month old at this point. Um, and that is in Aston, Pennsylvania. Uh, yeah, that's all the can says. Um, yeah, if you watch my channel uh, a lot, you know I do like coffee and stouts together, so I think I'm going to hopefully like this. Um, I don't know if I've ever had Wawa uh, coffee. Um, I've definitely seen Wawa's. I'm pretty sure I've stopped in Wawa's. Um, I do not get paid every time I say Wawa, uh, but uh, dirty glassware as always. But um, yeah, I'm a big coffee drinker if you've never watched one of my reviews before, and I do love stouts. So what, for a 6% stout, that is pretty darn dark. Um, there's some brown at the bottom on the edges, but um, yeah, I mean, that's a pretty thick, dark-looking stout. Uh, about just under two fingers of a light mocha head. Um Small bubbles breaking up into bigger bubbles. I get a little bit of roast already in the aroma, so let's get into a proper aroma. Okay, for me, I get shocker, a lot of coffee. That's coming across beautifully. I think still some roast from the stouts coming through, but maybe it is just a coffee. Maybe some of what I think is coffee is roast, but like those two things for sure. Uh, are coming through. Graham cracker without the cinnamon. Um, cause I, yeah, I don't get like a burst of cinnamon, but it kind of reminds me of the crackery part of that. And then chocolate. And in a stout like this, especially with the coffee, I, I do hope that there is a decent level of chocolate in it. And uh, based on the aroma, there's definitely like a chocolate uh, a thing going on. A little of like an earth element, earthy quality, a little bit of a um, uh, dark uh, fruits kind of a thing. Yeah, I mean, it definitely smells like a nice coffee stout. Um, cheers. That's a nice coffee stout. Yeah, so, um, oh, nice. In the back end, it's, it has a, a really nice finish into the aftertaste. Um of like um oh man like a, a dark cracker like a um like makes you think of like bran or um oh man wow yeah it, it, it wow geez uh almost like maybe not quite pumpernickel but like in that dark bread dark cracker um with with like what you know maybe having toast with coffee kind of a thing because there is still a, a lingering amount of coffee um uh, the the taste itself, as I'm like drinking the beer, uh, you definitely get all that coffee. Um, it is it is not lacking there. Uh, I would definitely recommend if you're gonna drink this beer, you like coffee. And again, I love coffee, so um, that works well. The it's not just straight coffee though, so it's not like I don't think you would uh, fool someone into thinking they're just drinking like cold brew or something, because um, it does have you know uh, some alcohol. Uh, no, it's very faint, obviously, especially given the ABV. It does have some, like, beer qualities. Um, some of that roast, I mentioned the aroma, does taste like how a stout roast would taste versus coffee. So that was present as well. Uh, I've been talking for a little while. Let me take another swig and then tell you a little bit more about what I think of the taste. For 6%, good mouthfeel. Um... I don't know what, like if it's an oatmeal stout or just a, a non-oatmeal stout, but like the, the body of it is pretty nice. I would think they would say oatmeal stout on it, but um, it does have a really nice uh, mouthfeel and body for sure. That chocolate, because there is, there is some sweetness. It's not overly dry, so there's some sweetness there. So it is a little bit milk chocolatey. 
Um, I said this in another review recently, or maybe even approaching like Hershey's Special Dark. Um, at no point is it like full on dark chocolate for me. So it's kind of more in that milk chocolate, but maybe maybe the Hershey version of, of dark chocolate or Special Dark. Um, I, I could see some of those like dark fruits generically, like I got in the aroma. I got that a little bit more in the aroma than the taste. Um, but again, like this is a really nice, easy drinking coffee stout. And I mean, for, for, for 6% or I don't know what else you'd really be looking for in this. Um, but again, you really have to like coffee. And the coffee itself is... It's definitely a, a drink, anyway. I don't know what, what, what process it was that they got the coffee. I don't know if it's coffee beans in the boil. I don't know if they uh, uh, made hot coffee and poured it into the beer. I don't know if they used cold brew and poured it in the beer. For me, it's definitely skewing more. The uh, coffee was brewed in a hot way. It was not, this doesn't taste like cold brew in a coffee, or I'm sorry, in a beer. Uh, it definitely drinks more like either they made hot coffee and poured it in or took the beans and put it in the boil because it does have the the um i hate to use the word harshness but it has like in my view cold brew rounds out the coffee flavors um and and, and where you when you brew it hot that it's not rounded out so it's a little harsher so i don't mean that as a negative but it is has it does have that uh a hot coffee uh a harshness to it but yeah i, I think it's pretty obvious that i like this now uh, they gave me two cans they were telling me like it's really hard to come by and they were only to, uh, able to get it was like a two can limit so i obviously appreciate uh, that and I look forward to drinking that can too. Uh, have you had this beer? I think this is the second time they, I, I was trying to go in blind, but like I think it's the second time they brewed it. It has a little bit bigger distribution. And then I also saw that they uh, also partnered with Hardywood and they did, I think it was a bigger one. I think one might have been a higher ABV and then there was even a barrel aged one. So there's definitely a couple versions of this or, or, or near this. Uh, that people could have. So if you've had any of those, put that in the comment section below, especially this one. Well, I shouldn't say especially because I'm curious about these other ones as well. But uh, yeah, we'd love to have conversations about this beer or those other ones and um, or just coffee beers in general or whatever. Uh, but thanks again, Molly and Frank. I really appreciate that. Uh, uh, there was a Christmas gift. I didn't specifically mention Christmas. So Merry Christmas. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I always appreciate that. Check me out on Instagram and on Tap. It's no hype beer reviews at both those places. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.